Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly Show, where we talk about things that matter to us but may not matter to you. Hopefully they do. Hopefully they do, and I hope that you got whatever you wanted for Christmas. Yes. Right. Uh, I am host one of three, Luis De La Torre. I am host two of three, Daka Jatoni. I am host seven of nine, Stop. Adam Stop. Don't. <laughs> do not ruin this. Do not but ruin that. But I got her no. suit. I to cosplay oh. for Christmas. Oh. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I agree. That would be horrifying. You ever see you ever yeah. like overcook a hot dog and it starts to burst out of <laughs> I can't imagine that I, that would I, be in her I would suit. imagine yeah, most yeah. people in that suit, <laughs> that's what it would look like. Um Anyway, before we go any further, guys, let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the jewel of the Mojave Desert. Yeah. And your one-stop shop for anything cool. And we really. ship too. We do ship. Oh, yes. where do they? Well, yeah, we do ship. So give Cosmic, them the website: cosmiccomics.vegas or cosmiccomicslv.com. Mm-hmm. Yes, you can order something, and you don't even have to show up. I mean, how easy is it? How, <laughs> how great easy is that? Is that? Right. If I could just do that with, I mean, you right. can, can't you? Although yeah, you it's can. preferable, you can still show up too. Yeah, you can still show up. Yeah, yeah please. Yeah. Tony gets lonely. Yes, it's preferable that I get to see your face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> your your wonderful, beautiful faces should right. be here. But you know, if you can't for whatever reason, go ahead and order stuff for yourself or somebody right. else. So. Um, we have a bunch of stuff such as comics, t-shirts, figures, statues, and so much more, guys. Let's give them a little taste of what we got. Like this Star Trek DS9 Runabout, the deluxe oversized version, which are really nice. This is one of the Eagle Moss collection. Mm-hmm. Um, they're really cool. And it, it's actually this big. No, it's not. It's actually quite sizable. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's, ac- it's on display in the statue case. I can't really show it to you. Oh, there it is. I see but it. But it is almost, I mean, it fits in the box, but it's, it's actually, it's about the size Wait, as it looks on the box. Isn't the one from Deep Space Nine supposed to be a lot smaller than? No, Deep Space Nine, they had warp, they almost had like warp shuttles is what they had. Oh. So. Yeah, Tony. <laughs> yeah, and then I also got... Okay. My Little Pony Coin Bank. Dr. Ooh. Hooves. Hey, That's calm right. down, Tony. Is that Dr. Hooves? I don't <laughs> yeah, know their names, it's, really. It's supposed to be a parody What Dr. is Hoof. it? Hold yeah, on, hold so on. Is it? Yeah, it's a parody. For real? Yes. So you could have Dr. Hooves, Dr. Hooves. on a runabout. That's actually quite clever. That is quite It's pretty clever. clever. I guess it does have a tie. I don't know their names, but it's a cool little Oh, thing. you know what? I can kind of see the David Tennant now. This is our bit. last one, actually. Yeah. We sold a bunch of... Not this one specifically, but a lot of different. If there's still any My Little Pony Pony fans, yeah, yeah, come get this last Dr. Hooves Uh, bank. Um, I found this today, and I'm really happy about it, and I really want to get it. It's the Alan Moore Saga of the Swamp Thing collection. Yeah. Um, It's pretty... It's a lot of, it's, what is it, one, two, six six books, guys. You're getting six volumes of Alan Moore's run. On Swamp Thing. Uh, wow. This thing. Uh, actually, stuff. you know what? Don't come get this. I got it already. Uh, it's pretty <laughs> we re- have it's, extras. Okay, fine. It's pretty reasonably reasonably priced for six reprinted books with a slip with a slip case. With a slip case and yeah. it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. It's what um, the show is based on. So. Yeah. Okay, I need to watch the show. I haven't watched the oh, show. Oh, it's so good. Uh, but yeah, it's Alan Moore's run on Swamp Famously Thing. canceled. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, they did? They canceled the show? Already? Yes, and there was a post credit scene hinting at the oh, season two. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's, it's so sad. It's like when they canceled Cowboy Bebop after one season. <laughs> okay, well. All right. Well, it kind of went in line. They left our, it open. Apparently, our thoughts were pretty much mimicked a lot of people's thoughts. Really? That it felt very unnecessary. Yeah, it was, yeah. though. It was. All right, what you All got? Right. Uh, since, you know, Spider-Man's the big thing now. Well, it's always been a big thing. So right? hot right now. Oh, no. So okay, hot which, right which now. I, okay, I got to mention. Merman pop. I got to mention, and it's kind of funny <laughs> that... The MCU spent God knows how much money prepping up each movie to find, like, you know, producing each movie of each superhero to, you know, assemble the Avengers if it's their movie. Meanwhile, Spider-Man makes more money than Avengers and <laughs> he, yeah. with, with just one trailer and one movie. Yeah, but Sony has a problem. That problem being that they just keep trying to jam more into each movie. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how it's been since Sam Raimi and now, yeah. well, it's come full circle. Well, <laughs> okay, well... Into the Spider, if uh, no, if you've seen the preview for the next Spider Verse movie, you might want to take a look at this Spider Man Worlds Collide, which somewhat, and insp- well, it's that's the movies are different from the comics, of course, but yeah, yeah. Th- this is one of the inspirations. Cool. Yeah, so that's the animated one you're talking about, right? Yeah. That inspi- okay, that was a good one. I did enjoy that one. If you like Venom a lot, then you should probably check these out. Nice. 
Yeah. If you're if you're still very edgy and you love Venom, here's some Venom comics. Edge Lord. Uh, anyway, guys, we have all those things and so much more. Come on down. We have a very friendly, knowledgeable staff to help you find what you're looking for. And Tony's here, too. Yes. <laughs> and Tony's here, too. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm kidding, Tony. Ouch. I'm kidding. Everyone here is very super cool, super knowledgeable, super friendly, so they'll be able to help you out with whatever you may need. Um, and Tony. <laughs> Aw. That was the joke before. <laughs> I'm trying to recover. Tony's Tony's great. Yeah, yeah, he really is. Okay, is. so let's get on with the topic of today's show. Now, listen, I'm going to get real with you guys for a second. I'm going to get serious, okay? <laughs> There's one. It's it's Listen, it's almost 2022, and unfortunately, that one big thing that's going on is not going to go away. It's just, it's just, I, I'm, look, I'm yeah. no Nostradamus, yeah. but it ain't going nowhere for the time being. Nope. But. Did Nostradamus get burned down? I don't know. Did he? Did he get uh, burned alive? Nah, I don't know. No, no. Uh, no, never mind. I was thinking of something else. Oh, okay. Nostradamus Cathedral? Wasn't that? That's Notre Dame. Nostradamus was the guy who oh. had visions I of the I visited Notre Dame. Well, I drove by it when I was in Did Paris. Did you set it on fire? No, this was 30, 20 something years before oh, it got set okay. on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I drove by it. <laughs> you drove. That was it, huh? We did visit Paris, but it was like it was a one day trip. You could mm-hmm. only do so much. There was a strange man in the bell tower. <laughs> right? I said nothing to no one. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So despite that, 2022 can still be a decent year with right. so many cool mm-hmm. things coming out, at least media wise. Right. And yeah. that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about a yeah. few things that we are excited about to For see 20... and read or play 2022. in 2022. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who would like to start? Uh, you want me to go up with my first pick? Sure. Yes. All right. Uh, I, I would love nothing more, Tony. We all know Insomniac Games. They made one of the best Spider-Man games ever made. And they're, you yes. know, Sp- Spider-Man 2 is happening, but that's going to come out in 2023. For 2022, they're making a Wolverine game. Okay. Yep. Yeah. They are. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they are. Listen, I love Wolverine. Yes. He's one of my favorite X-Men. I just don't know how you do him. I game. just, I no. just. Well. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how you do a wolf, like a really good Wolverine game. There was X Men Origins Wolverine, which was fantastic. Game. It was the best Wolverine game. Yeah, you could <laughs> yank someone out of a helicopter and put their head in a propeller and do a lot of gory stuff while wearing the yellow costume. I'm game like, Informer said it was the best game where you could be Hugh Jackman. <laughs> yeah. Grant, gr- granted, uh, the final boss is still Baraka well. Pool. It's still who? <laughs> Baraka Pool. Oh, God. Insomniac yeah. has, so far, a pretty good track record. Spider-Man 2, actually, just looking at what's planned for that doesn't fill me with hope. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Yeah. What, Miles and Peter fighting Venom and Craven? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Wolverine. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Wolverine, Insomniac. Yes. I have hopes that Wolverine will be short in here. And <laughs> he better be short and ugly. No, cause. no, yeah. I want tall, yeah. statuesque yeah. Wolverine. Yeah, Hugh Jackman really kind of screwed that I up. Need you. <laughs> <laughs> I need Hugh Jackman Not Wolverine. saying he was bad as Wolverine. You More like that. Hugh Jackman. Yeah, Hugh Jackman. I- I hope for, I hope that this game is M rated because you're Wolverine. You're Wolverine, yeah. Got, mm. Yeah. It's not the nineties. He doesn't need to not kill people. <laughs> Just talk he doesn't need to posture like he used to back in the day. I hope <laughs> this has a good selection of villains ranging from bad guys like Omega Red, Hand, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sabretooth. Right. I don't want Deadpool to be in this game because he's too big of a character. No, yeah, yeah. I think I have more hope for this game because of the Spider Man game. Now I haven't played the Spider Man game, but oh, just from what I've really heard, from really what, what I hear, it's very good. It Listen, is. I just got a PS4. Are you gonna give me some time. I just got Final Fantasy VII there's Remake. A few, there's a few quick time <laughs> event battles that suck, but the rest of the game's pretty solid, yeah. Yeah. Um I hope there's a lot of costumes in this game. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I would love what what's it, what's his name in uh when he's just, the bartender? I don't want it to yeah. I, I don't want it Patch. to be like the yeah. Spider Man game where there's all these goofy suits that you'll never wear. Like, oh, but I want to uh, be Patch. But yeah, Patch would be cool. That'd be cool. There's yeah. some people who'd want to be Patch, and I'd want no to... Patch would be cool. I just meant like these sort of weird Wolverine made up ones. in a shield it's uniform. Like Wolverine high velocity or something like. No, what is that that's... from? Like oh, a one, it's like it's that's... one shot from 2009. It's like it's like when they make uh, it's like when they make toys. Like you ever see like when they make Batman toys and it's like yeah. Arctic Batman, yeah, 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 but you yeah. never see Arctic yeah. Batman anywhere. That's what yeah. a lot of the suits yeah. in Spider and feel like oh, you're like no. what the i mean they're from something but most of them are like what is that i, I remember don't... making a list of yeah. like costumes i'd like to see in the yeah. game like, do you have them readily available please share it with us yes uh, i just gotta <laughs> search it no up. i really i would right, I, right, I really right. really well, i'll do a, i'll do a quick quick two before uh he brings those up sh monster arts next year is coming out with not one 
but two new Godzilla figures. Oh my God! Done. This po- this the show is done, guys. Godzilla we did t- it. Godzilla two thousand four. We did it. Uh, and then for the fiftieth anniversary of Godzilla mm-hmm. versus the Smog Monster, Hedra. The, Ooh, yeah. Deluxe okay. edition. Did you three Hedras in one? Tadpole Hedora. Oh, you get three in one. Full size Hedora. I thought you were you're talking about flying Hedora. I thought you were talking about you get. There's three different Hedora figures coming out. Well, they're uh, but they're, they're, all they're all together in one box. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because yeah. I I could not stand having to buy like a Hedora figure and there's like three of them and, and all that's different is the color or something. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Nuclear waste. So yeah, I'm looking Arc- forward to that. Even Arctic though I, gear Hedora. I have an amazing X Plus Hedora who's huge, mm. but I'm still getting this figure because you know. Because you just got to have them. You got to have them. And then the 2004 Godzilla is finally coming out, which a lot of people call the leopard suit or the cat suit because his face is very cat-like. Yes. Yeah. But it's a very mobile suit. And yes. apparently the figure is also very posable, more yes. so than Does a lot of the cool? other figures. It yeah. looks awesome yeah. from the photos. It looks okay. good. Yeah. So that's my quick one. Did you find your list? Oh, yeah. So costumes I want to see. Uh, orig- original costume with the you know yeah. whiskers. With the whiskers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, first appearance war. Yeah. 90s, yellow and blue. <laughs> yeah. Um, 90s brown and orange where he just... That was 80s. Oh, 80s? Yeah. Oh. Well, but it's the one where he explains that, like, oh, like I just... 70s, I, I, late 70s. Brown? This one? Yeah, that was late yeah. 70s. Oh. Well, in this one, like, I, I remember the explanation being, oh, I just felt like changing my costume up. That's yeah. it. That's all it is. That was a supposedly post-Hulk costume, because it was, you know, the original was a little kind of silly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. W- Weapon X. With well, it was brown just in case he had to fight oh, the Hulk again. Oh, that'd be a good again. one, yeah. The original yeah. Weapon X costume, yeah. Patch. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> X-Force. Oh, the, the X-Force. Task Force. Yeah, ta- yeah. yeah, X-Force is cool. Hugh Jackman. The <laughs> j- Just for the sake of it, Brian, uh, the original Brian Singer leather suits. No, thank you. I hated those suits. Yeah, those suits are terrible. And then they still made a stupid joke, like, we were, should we wear yellow spandex? Yeah, like, dude, that would have so been way dumb. better than whatever this is. Those movies, I remember when they came out, we uh, were all thirsty for that. I mean... Yeah, I loved the first like, movie when I was a kid. A few years gone, it's just like, these are terrible. Like, they're bad. <laughs> yeah, I loved them when I when I was yeah. younger, but then I watched them again, like, oh, no, these are bad. And these two, are very good. two does, in a post... Post Avengers World Two does not hold up. It's, no, it's, it's definitely the best one. It's of the, still of the best the series, one, yeah. but it's just kind of ho hum now. Yeah, so. it is a very early two thousand. All right, what movie. else we got? You got something? Uh, yeah, I do. So look, uh, you may or may not know this. I know you guys know this. I am a fan of pro wrestling. What? Uh, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm not, however, a fan of John Cena. What? Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. But um, he, <laughs> yeah. What is what is what are you doing? Do it again. Just oh my God! It's, I, I don't know what that is. What, is you're, what are you wiping a windshield? What are you doing? <laughs> you, you know what you look like. You look like someone's dad. Like what's that guy's name? That that guy you like? The guy who wrestles? That's, he that's, does this. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm going for. Um, no, so I'm not a fan of John Cena, but I will say I really liked him in the Suicide Squad movie. Yeah. And I am looking forward to the Peacemaker really? series. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that it's good. Um, you know, I'm at that age where it's like I don't have a lot of hope for stuff. Like any any hope that I do have is like, come on, man, you just just give it a try. You know, you gotta convince yourself to just give it a try. And uh, this is one of them. But I mean, like, I like the character. You know what I mean? I thought John Cena did a great job. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, yeah. I don't know. This series just looks like it could be kind of but weird a, and a little bit a bad insane. man. That's he is point. a bad man. But how many movies have you seen where you follow around a bad man? Well, not lately, a lot. Yeah, <laughs> but I think I think the fact that he's a bad man and a parody of like a lot of Merc- people, a lot of Merc- American <laughs> beliefs and American sensibilities, yeah. I could I think I mean, could make for a really entertaining show. He has a bald eagle as a pet. So. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. <laughs> don't tell me you don't want that insanity in your life. I will. I will. I want to give this series a try. Um, I honestly, like I said, I don't, I don't like him in particular for no particular reason. I just don't think he's that great. I don't dislike the guy, but I think he was great as Peacemaker. So yeah. I'm willing to, I'm willing to give it a shot and see how it goes. And then Robert Patrick is in this guy's. Oh yeah. The oh. Robert Patrick. Oh, okay. Yeah. T-1000. Yes. The T-1000 is in this, um, which he's great in everything he's in. He was in he another is, John Cena movie, the Marine, the first one. Was he? And he? Yeah, he was the bad guy in the Marine. Oh my god! But he was the best thing about that entire oh, sure, crap yeah. fest. That I'm movie sure. sucked so bad, but he was awesome in it. He was fantastic. But yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to Peacemaker. You know, the only thing he's not good in is Double Dragons, and he's still the best thing in that movie. Oh, I thought you were talking about John Cena. You're talking about Robert Patrick. <laughs> Robert yeah. Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's st- he's not good in that. 
But he's the but best. He's thing still the best thing in that movie. Robert yeah. Patrick <laughs> rules. In, in the Double Dragon movie. Yeah, that's so bad. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Peacemaker. All right, what do you what do you got? All right. Well, what I got is a game coming out next year, I think in March, and it's called Dying Light Two. Oh, yeah, it's in the Game Boy mm, version. That game looks awesome. You did do. Um, you did do. Dying uh, Light yeah. is so good, it's right? Parkour. It's so like good. Zombies. It's parkour with zombies. It's amazing. What yeah. you're a zombie parkouring? Yeah. Oh, oh, actually, well, the zombie parkouring part is multiplayer and. Uh, yeah. Um, Friend of the show, Michelle and I, yeah, played that for like years <laughs> wow. online together when mm-hmm. she moved to Idaho. And um, it's a good team. what's funny is we played like, a couple weeks ago for the first time in like a, almost a year. Yeah, and we were literally like an hour away from the finale. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> like the final finale of like the extra DLC with the buggies. And this stuff. we played the whole yeah, game. Yeah. Well, we played it, you know, over time. Right. But uh, yeah, just a if you've played the first one, it's really good. Looking mm. forward to the yeah. second one. Obviously, it's been. It ha- God, that game's got to be about five years old at least. Yeah. So, I and mean, the technical improvements alone are going to be pretty substantial. And mm. the story of the second one is going to be like 10 years after. Yeah, that's it's like 20, one. 15 or 20 years after. Yeah. yeah. I guess the world's been overrun by the by their zombies. Not so. necessarily. Mm. Like, the place you're at is like isolated from the rest of the world. Right. Or it's like contained. Yeah. And <laughs> the first game was just really good. Oh, yeah. It had the most really terrifying good. zombie children in any video game. Yes. Like, usually when you think of zombie children, like, oh, I could just kick them in the head. Or, like, I literally <laughs> just went to a thousand yard stare, man. <laughs> yeah. They are, the first time you run into is one, it's PTSD? horrifying. Is yeah. this PTSD? Almost. Almost. <laughs> because the way it's it works horrifying. Is they, they attract I was there, zombies. man. Yeah. I was in it. Yeah. The moment you see a zombie child, just get out of there. It's yeah, not, it's not just worth get out. Yeah, it's either you have to, either you have to take them down immediately or you got to get out of there. You yep. don't know what it's like living in the dying light. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like you run around during the daytime and then you hear the sirens, meaning the night's coming. Mm. You, you got to get, you want to get somewhere safe until you get further in the game, you get more competent. But there's these guys called volatiles that, yeah, you don't want to. Yeah. Mm. They're, they're, Although, they're I, frightening. With, this, with the gameplay footage I've seen for Dying Light 2, there are some things that kind of made me chuckle a bit because. Obviously, there's more parkouring, and you're gonna be a, there's gonna be a lot of gliding and parachuting involved. Yeah. Well, there was a little bit of that. Um, and this in one, one, obviously, and then the buggies were a lot of fun. Zombie apocalypse, you fight crazy bandits with like right. as as deadly weapons as you're you're using. Like they have like spears that are like duct taped with other stuff. Heck yeah. Um. Well, that was a big part of the first game too. Was improvised melee weapons. Yeah, but in this one, with the parkour, it looks like you could like one hit kill people apparently. By like, oh, I just w- w- wall ran someone, kicked someone in the face until they died. I like it. And um, apparently you're strong enough to drop kick someone off a building. Nice. I mean, <laughs> you could do that now. You could do that yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I was just saying, a normal person could you do that. I'm pretty sure I could drop kick someone you off get, a building. You get leverage, yeah. You yeah. get leverage and a good hit. You do, going, like a sh- going. you do like a shotgun drop kick, which yeah. is like a run before the actual yeah. drop kick. Get some of that velocity. Like yeah, a, you can Godzilla, totally knock someone. And they'd be flying like, <laughs> Yeah, like Godzilla yeah. versus Megalon drop kick. Heck yeah, he can do it. Yeah, it did. It's possible. All right. All right. All right. Uh, I have got one that I think is a little controversial. Ooh. Morbius. Um, and I s- actually do not want to see that movie. Well, uh, which one? <laughs> Morbius. Morbius. Or mo- yeah, yeah, I'm not. I want to see it. I'm not excited. But you, you go first. That's not. Uh, I'm no, for. it is a it is a Marvel movie. What is it? Uh, it, it is. Uh, I I. I I actually do want to see this. I want to see. It's controversial Thor- because of me. Oh, no, no, it's controversial because like Marvel movies oh. are definitely not what they used to be. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it is the new Thor movie, Love and Thunder. I do want yeah. to see it, um, mostly because. Uh, I do love her. Yeah, mostly because but, Natalie Portman's in it. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I just don't care. Um, well, you know what? I I like the 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 last Thor movie. Ragnarok. Yeah. Well, they got the arts. Uh, yeah, apparently I'm the. I apparently the more people I talk to, the more I found out that I'm. I'm really one of the only people on earth that does not like that movie. Well, you didn't like that movie? No, I did not. I oh like, my uh, god, I enjoyed I it. Just, I like the art style of it because it heavily resembled Jack Kirby's works, but at the same time, the story itself. I'm they, especially towards the finale. I'm like scratching my head towards it. My biggest problem with a lot of the Marvel movies during that era is the guy's planet was just destroyed, but they can't give him even 20 seconds of screen time to mourn. They got to go right to a com- comedic bit because they're too worried about being heavy. Oh, wait. Right. You mean Thor? So, Thor, like... Thor, yeah. Oh, yeah. Forget... Look. Well, it's look, a Taika Waititi movie. Yeah. So... not going to say the movie didn't well, have that its... wasn't his fault. He was told to make it fun. I'm not going to say the movie doesn't have its issues. Because he is a good director. All right. And I'm not going to say that this movie won't have its issues because it, likely... it likely will. It likely will. 
But I do love I do love Taika Waititi. Oh, I do. I think too. he's yeah. great. He directing it? He's directing it. Oh, That's one of the yeah. other reasons why I wanted to watch See, it. See, now I have to kind of give it a chance. Um, yeah, uh, I don't hold Thor Ragnarok against him. <laughs> yeah, and then of course, uh, you know, your favorite Chris Pratt. Your favorite Chris is in it. A Star Lord. Is he really? Yeah. Oh yeah. I think I think because, the Guardians are all in it. Because Thor is now a member of Guardians. Well. If they're smart, they'll wipe most of them out in the first act. Wow. <laughs> they're all useless. Where? Except for Mantis and Groot. They're all useless. I mean. And Rocket's, Rocket's at least entertaining. Sure. If they can keep those three, get rid of the rest they of them. They started off so they're strong with the ter- first movie. The first movie was good. Yeah. And I don't know what happened after that. Yeah. But it's terrible. I like Ego. That was about it. It's about yeah. the second one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think there's plenty here There's plenty here for me to like. Well, now they know that they're in it. Oh, um, no. <laughs> Chances are, if Better Ebola is in this movie, they're, 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 Taika Waititi might write him off as a as a janitor or something. Yeah. No, <laughs> See, no, I, like, no. I hope not. I hope not. Because I'll walk I out. Not. I will get up and walk because out. Because Better Ebola is have... the greatest Thor that ever welded, wielded the hammer. Yes. And he technically had a guys. What about Frog or... Thor? That was no. Loki. He was actually just Thor. He, Frog Thor was a he Loki. Just, he was turned into a frog. That's right. All. That's but, so much better than regular Thor. No. But um, Beta Ray Bill is the greatest Thor to ever wield a hammer. <laughs> I he, do like Beta, Beta Ray Bill. Ever. Beta Ray Bill had a cameo beat in him twice. Thor Ragnarok. Like you see a sculpture of his face yeah. in that building. And oh, do you? I didn't yeah. even notice yeah, that. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. I have a Beta Ray Bill yeah. pop, and it's one of my yeah. most prized material Hell possessions yeah. that I have. Hell yeah. Um, I it, didn't like how Ragnarok just killed off so many characters without giving them a second okay fine kill off the warriors three but scourge when he yeah, finally gets yeah. the time to show off using his guns which is right, a right. thing he loves in the comics he gets shanked i'm All like right, nah. we're, getting, what, we're getting off topic would it we're help, not reviewing would it help if <laughs> i told and you I'm, that, as, I'm as guilty too yeah, yeah. Go ahead. would it help if i told you jeff goldblum comes back that would be okay okay he was good yeah so, so i don't know there's plenty to like here again i'm at that weird age where it's like I have to like force myself to give things a chance, even though I've already written them off. Like, oh, this is terrible. Like, no, no, hold on. Do you remember when we were twenty and everything was awesome? Give it a chance. Okay. Well. So I'm gonna give it a chance, and we'll see where it goes. And if it's terrible, then you'll never see me. All again. right. So the Marvel movie I'm excited for for 2022 in February is Morbius. Oh. Yeah. That's a that's a f- Sony movie. Yeah. And I'm- <laughs> Okay. I yeah, I don't I don't count that as a They need Marvel to put movie. that they need to put that blurb yeah. on the poster. S- it, oh, it's a Sony movie. It's, Adam Crenn. It's it's oh, it's a Sony movie. Oh, it's a Sony movie. Adam Crenn. Sony Marvel movies have more soul than the MCU do. Oh, I don't know about that. They okay, make yeah. they make more money, but that's you Spider-Man and Venom for some Sony reason. movies make more money they, than uh, Marvel movies? No, but Spider-Man and Venom are, they they, make, they, It's like printing movies. money with those movies. Yeah. It always has been, even the bad ones. I mean, if you ever look at the numbers that all of them, including Amazing Spider-Man 2, which is objectively worse than any incarnation, even the 60s cartoon, that movie is garbage. Then what, that, the one with that, uh, Andrew Garfield? Andrew I Garfield. don't blame him. I mean, I like the ending of that movie, but everything else was... <laughs> it was bizarre. No, like, no, the part where Gwen gives the speech and, Sp- and Peter um, <sighs> becomes Spider-Man again, that whole arc of his story, yeah. I liked, but I didn't like how Goblin was crammed in within the last yeah, 10 minutes. It's just bad. By the way, but the, anyway, the way she still died, made a ton the, of the way she died was traumatizing. Still, in movie. still but made a ton. Anyway, of money. Morbius. Why am I excited for <laughs> yeah, this you're, movie? You're right, you're right. Sorry. Why am I excited for Morbius? Um, I don't know yeah, why. why. He looks awesome. Mm. <laughs> His design's cool. Mm-hmm. He's a vampire that you know kills people. <laughs> I just don't like that the Joker becomes a vampire. <laughs> what, you know, like a joke? <laughs> actually took me a few. Se- the Joker. All oh, right, he did play yeah, he Joker. Played Joker once. That was terrible. You, you don't like that Jared Leto playing him? I don't. I don't no, no. I don't I'm, I'm I, kidding. I don't like that version of the Joker. I don't think I like. He, it was Rita, Leto. You don't think so? There's something he was good in. Requiem for a Dream. There's stuff he's. But I'll never watch that he's, again. He's so. he's a good actor. There's a he lot is. of movies that he's in that's very good. I can see him as. I can see like him kind of being annoying. Late maybe Runner, but. 2049. There you go. See. Yeah. Maybe that's why you hate him because of the movies he's in. Yeah. Maybe you're not mad at him. <laughs> but from the looks of the trailer, it's probably going to be as edgy and as carefree with the story and his tone as Venom was with his two movies. Mm, wow. Because that's what I think about when I think of Venom. Yeah. Carefree. Carefree. Well, embracing its more comic book aspects of it because if you... It's oh, a, gee, if they would have done that, he would have been part of Spider-Man. Well, <laughs> 
technically, technically, sorry, man. Sorry. Technically, he is now. You know, I, you know my feelings on that. With, I, with I don't the, think I, he can have Venom without Spider-Man. With the, with no. the post-credit scenes, he technically he yeah, is now. Get out of here. Get out of here. But you're excited for it. I get it. So and please, I'm sorry. I'm just saying, if we're going to have a Venom yeah. movie, can we have a Secret Wars movie before yes. that so that we yes. can actually have a Venom movie? You know, Marvel's well, second big crossover event. Yeah, how about a how about that a, most people think is the first big crossover? How about event? a cool black suit Spider Man for a little bit? Thank you. For, and then Venom. Oh, for like two movies. Well, two movies, black suit Spider Man. Yeah. yeah. Tom Tom Hardy voicing Venom inside of Tom Holland's body. I could I could see that kind of. That'd be alright. It'd be a goofy movie, but then again, Venom the Venom movies were really goofy and they felt like something. Yeah, they looked goofy. The I didn't watch them, but they looked goofy. And Shh, I'm trying to be quiet. You're not helping. <laughs> I'm me. sorry. I'm let sorry. Him, let him have his moment. I want you to be mad. Me- yes, embrace and, the anger. And it's what I'm hoping Morbius uh, uh, goes for in terms of his direction, like where Morbius will uh, he would have no problem killing and, <laughs> and like. His morals he are doesn't morally ambiguous. Actually, no, he doesn't. He wasn't like well. Well, originally, nineties Mobius, maybe Morbius. Well, yeah, my nineties Morbius. He, he was sick. I think he only drank blood because he had to. He was yeah, dying in the seventies. Yeah. He was but like he, he wasn't like a vampire. A, he was yeah, like he was no. trying he had to, vampire like he was trying to be a good stuff. guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's sem- why he was called the Living Vampire. Yeah. He wasn't dead in, yeah. in the seventies where Blade was chasing him. He didn't want to kill the guys in right. the ship that he was in. He was just like, oh god, what have I done? Yeah, it was more of that. That would be a cool movie. I would watch that movie because i saw the trailer and it just seems like oh, he I just kind of leans into being a vampire superhero yeah. as opposed to a guy well, who just what he can't did. really control himself yeah, after his early run-ins with spider-man yeah he i just i much, would love to see much did i just right need away, to yeah. see the build-up to that and yeah. another thing that has me excited for morbius is i feel like this is the movie that's well if no one home doesn't do it this movie might tie in all the spider-man universes oh together goodness. because we got won't the w- doctor strange movie do that I, maybe we got <sighs> Michael Keaton's Vulture in this movie. Oh, wow. We got Oscorp from the Amazing Spider-Man universe, mm-hmm. and apparently the Venom movies took place in that universe too. Now we're talking about Spider-Man, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We shifted. I, what happened? Yeah, Morbius. <laughs> it will be the key to connecting all the Spider-Man movies and universes together. If No Way Home doesn't do it. Listen, I will say that I am intrigued at the idea that they would give such a second string character <laughs> their own movie. Like, because I've always been a fan of like the the second string comic characters. Like, the cheaper comics have always been the better comics because yes. they can take more risks. Right. So, like, I would always find myself buying like the dollar ninety nine books, or when when the price went up, when right. I was buying right. singles, the two ninety nine books were usually the best books because you could take more risks. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm willing, I think, to give this more of a chance to probably than Venom, but I don't know that I'm actually going to go see it. I don't, I don't know. Maybe you can let me know how it is, and I'll, and I'll go from there. Any but you ones? loved the Venom movies, so maybe <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, no, no, I'm saying maybe I'll go check them out because you like them just to see. Did you uh, see the first Venom? I have not seen any of the Venoms. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting like two opposed no. like opinions. No. Have you seen it? Yes. There are it's bad. It's bad. There are, <laughs> se- there are scenes that are unintentionally <laughs> funny. <laughs> well, that's true. Where can I see it without paying for it? I don't know. Oh, it's not like streaming anywhere, like on HBO or something like that. Support it. Get it on DVD and Blu-ray. Oh no, no, thank you. Because <laughs> if it's bad, then I just spent more money than I intended so, to on it. Any other superhero movies uh, you're all excited for? I don't know. Let's hit a few quick because we are on the verge of starting to run long. So um, I'll knock out a few. You guys got a couple, or I got one more. Okay. Uh, Evil Dead the game comes out. Looking oh, yeah. forward to that. that that's going to be awesome. Um, you know, we're not super good. optimistic because there's been a lot of Evil Dead games that we were supposed to be excited about and it turned out to all be garbage. Uh, the ones um, on PS2 are all right. Uh, She-Hulk show. You know, actually, I love I'm cautiously listen, optimistic. I am as well. But I love I love Tatiana Maslany. I uh, think she's yeah. awesome. I, I also, loved her in uh, Orphan Black. Right. She's really good. I, I am not, also yeah. cautiously optimistic about Obi Wan, mostly because Ewan McGregor's in it. Um, but I, I, I think have, it's too I late. have a feeling it's going to go oh, off yeah, the rails anyway. Be in the they, oh, what? Yeah, yeah, he's playing Darth Vader. But Mannequin it, Skywalker. It seems like Disney is dedicated to trying to integrate the later trilogy, which mm-hmm. is just they should do themselves a favor and probably forget about it. I'll be honest. I, I picture a time when we're all sitting on the couch, really, really old or something, yeah. and then it's like, oh, hey, they integrated Star Wars into the Marvel Universe. Now there's this one big thing. <laughs> Nick Fury is asking Obi-Wan if he wants to join the Avengers. Right. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Nick Fury's clone. So I do have one. Um, now, I'm a, uh, I've done a one-shot 
on this particular subject before. Okay. And uh, I think it's, I don't know how, I don't know about Tony, but I know it's safe to say that you and I are fans of RPGs, D&D, uh-huh. &D, uh, Heroes, Champions Complete, it's that kind of stuff. Are you not a fan of D&D? &D? No, that I am, I am. I'm just thinking what's coming out next year. So, uh, yeah, so um, early January, or I'm sorry, or, uh, early February, we get the uh, entire first season of The Legend of Vox Machina on Amazon Prime. Oh. Which is the crowdfunded show by cool. Critical Role. Great. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not a fan. Like I'm not a fan. Why? Why? I, I just, I'm not. <laughs> I just I didn't. Like, I, I know the controversy. I couldn't get into it. I didn't like it. I know the controversy behind one of the players. No, in I get it. Role. It's very popular. Listen, I get it. listen, what? listen. I'm not going to call myself a super fan. That's I watched the entire first, first season. Yeah. And then I'll admit, I got burnt out on watching yeah. so much because it, it's very long. It's like a hundred some odd episodes, and I'm like, okay, I just kind of got burned out on it. Yeah. But that first, that very first run, that very first uh, campaign was really, really good. Yeah, but in the first campaign, didn't get, one guy tried cheesing it by like inserting things of his own real life to the game and real life aspects of reality into the That's game? That's his choice. Yeah. He wants to be a dope and do that. <laughs> <laughs> like he, he didn't show up in the other campaigns because of it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, like, I think this is the closest we're going to get to a good D&D movie. What? I mean, considering that that D&D movie is coming uh, out. D &D I don't know if it's... Dungeons & Dragons 2 was actually really good. Get the hell out of here. No, I'm serious. You want to roll it's, your eyes. It's, it's super low budget. You want to roll your eyes at Critical Role, but, you, but you're cool with D&D 2. Have you seen it? I have seen it. It's, it's better good. than the first oh, one for better, sure, yeah. but it's not that but great. The first no, one okay, had Jeremy yeah, Irons okay. in it going. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could just, right, if that right. was just the whole movie, then yeah, sure, that'd be great. Yeah. What was Jeremy Irons doing? I don't know, but he won an Oscar for this. <laughs> he won an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, like, the, the whole thing, within an hour of launching on Kickstarter, made a million dollars. Made more than a million dollars. Yeah, I know, I know it's super popular. It's I insane. It. And I would like to see, honestly, I think this is the best D&D &D movie you're going to get for a while, if at all. I think. I think, I think once you get above a certain age, there's a certain group of us older gamers that mm. really just don't like some a lot of the new stuff for a lot of reasons. Okay. And I, think I listen. Most people my age are like, oh, that's I need to get rough. into this with you, but not now because we don't have <laughs> yeah, any time. Yeah, yeah. So maybe we, we maybe we could make that maybe we can make that an episode. I need yeah, to know yeah. why. Uh, look, I, I understand if you don't like it. I get yeah. that part, yeah, but I get like that it's super popular, yeah. I'm respect. They made all that money to yeah. make this cartoon, which is going to be. I'm telling you, it's going to be the best D and D on media on any sort of media that we're going to get for a very long time. Fair enough. So, I mean, do you really want to see that D and D movie that they're planning? It sounds stupid already. No, no, it, it sounds it terrible. Does, yeah. Watch Dark so, Dungeons. Did you have anything else? Oh, Darkest watching? Dungeons is great. Darkest yeah, Dungeons is great. Awesome. Yeah, Dark Dungeons is great. Is there anything else you're looking forward to, real quick? Just quick though, because we do need. Uh, Rob Pass and the Batman. I, I like the looks of it. Ugh. Except Ugh. For, the last preview nope. turned me off. Except yeah. for one nope. shot. One shot. Of the last preview where it looks like his armor's bulletproof. Yeah. Which kind of defeats. He did the bullet. Mandalorian thing where he's just walking into it, hail it, of bullets. Yeah. It, it turned me off so much. He just he looks weird. He looks weird. I don't like it. It kind of defeats the purpose of him being in his second year as Batman, where his gear shouldn't really be that good to begin with, and it kind of defeats the purpose of him still thing. So yeah. I know there's people that are excited about this Batman, but, but everything I, else I like the looks of it. I like I, the Batmobile. I don't. I don't. He he took me right as soon as I saw him in the bat suit. I was right out of yeah, it. Yeah, it didn't bother me. No, there, I don't think he looks great. There, I don't think he looks the part. There was one thing that put me off pretty early when they said the parents had murdered his. The parents that the what's his name used to murder his parents is part of his bat symbol. I was like, okay, that's wait, effing wait, stupid. What? Say that's that again. That's technically from the Neil Adams thing. Yeah, in the Neil Adams still book, crap. he melt. But no, it's different in the Neil Adams one because he actually melted the gun and yeah. made it into like an armor piece underneath. Oh, the I see. Still, okay, still, but, still, still stupid. He but melted the he melted Joe Chill's gun yeah, to yeah. to make the bat symbol it's on the his... actual bat symbol. If you look, it. But it no, looks like in, a gun. In the, in the Robert Patterson, it looks like a gun split in half. Yeah, yeah, in the in the Robert Patterson one, he broke the gun in half yeah. and he just plastered then, it in his suit. And then the, the the I don't like that the thing with the, when he's walking into the hail of bullets. I was yeah, just I like, do. Yeah, yeah, I was like, no, this is not going to be a detective story, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, okay. Right. Look, listen. Let's I mean, get out of here. This is all the stuff yeah. we were looking forward to. We just shot each other down the whole episode. <laughs> we did. I hope we you're really happy did, with us. Yeah. Yeah. I hope we're all happy with us. <laughs> we've become those nerds. Oh yeah, I, we've become those guys. Bob's Burgers, the movie. But I'm, I'm, more excited, I'm more excited for Morbius than Batman. It's a series already. I don't need it as a movie. What are you going to do as a movie? Uh, I mean, Simpsons had a good movie. That's true. Mm, and that one was, good movie. And that was well... They only had one movie. No, I'm kidding. And that I was didn't well even, into many seasons I'm just of giving you a hard time. I didn't even know Simpsons. there was going to be a, a Bob's Burgers yeah. movie. Yeah. When the Simpsons movie came out, they were already well into a good 
eight to ten years of bad seasons. Yeah, bad Simpsons so. TV show, yeah. Anyway, uh, all right. So that's what we're excited for, even though we just shot apparently, each other down. Apparently, not for each other. Yeah, right. Like you know, we're excited about this. Ugh, really? Uh, we're very supportive but in our own community. It's great. But the message is, there is so much out there to consume. Yeah. No matter what your interests are, I mean, twenty twenty two does yeah. not have to be a downer year. It doesn't. There's That's plenty true. for us to do and enjoy, even with everything going on in the world. So yep. as we go into 2022, guys, let's just let's try to be good to each other, right? Let's try to keep ourselves and everyone else safe. And, you know, let's just try to, let's just try to be nicer to each other, starting with the new year, right? Yes. I mean, let's just try to be better. You. <laughs> <laughs> We're already off to a bad start. I kid. I We're already about to a bad start. I love you, buddy. Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> All right. So with that said, plugs, hair plugs. Public slash GoFenris. Token Titan Chaos. Oddity Collectors. Wow. Okay, hold on. There's too much plugs going on. It's all right. Yes. I Go sell, ahead. I sell plugs. I, I sent them. Okay. I, I, I sell clean plugs on the internet. But okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> Token Titan Cast. Uh, yeah, we talk about stuff. Good stuff. Good, <laughs> Good stuff, stuff related to Toku. We're the best Toku podcast ever. And we I are like definitely it. not biased and we are definitely not on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> as you fell asleep <laughs> you fell in your asleep charity through. stream um okay uh i i got nothing i got nothing uh the only fans has taken a break but uh besides that yeah i don't have much of anything else going on okay um let's get out of here you will yeah. see me however in a trench coat and a hat watching more beans <laughs> i love you theater. love you <laughs>